Keith Allred, the Executive Director at the National Institute for Civil Discourse and the founder of Common Sense American. I am more grateful than I can say for the thousands of hours that all of you have collectively put in to review our brief on surprise medical billing and then share your considered views on what should be done about it. Having put in all that work, we're now at the most exciting step. Now is when we share our views with Congress. I'm honestly overwhelmed by the response we've been getting in Congress. I want to give you an update on how well that's going, but my most important point is to be sure you know just how influential it is when you share your own views with your members of Congress. On the rest of this page, we've made it easy for you to do that. If you're short on time, I might recommend that you skip the rest of this video and follow the easy steps that we've outlined below. If you have the time and interest, here's the update. Today is June 22nd. So far, we have conducted more than 30 briefings reviewing our results page with members of Congress and their staff. And the pace is picking up. COVID-19 has actually made this easier because we do them by Zoom conference calls. This week, we have more than a dozen briefings already scheduled. The reception your views have gotten has been extraordinary because it's such a contrast to what they usually experience on this issue. Members of Congress are facing a fire hose of independent by medical providers blasting them in one direction. Another fire hose from insurers is blasting them in a different direction. With our results, they hear the reasoned views of everyday Americans who have informed themselves and don't have a vested interest biasing their conclusions. Let me tell you one of the great stories uh, from our interactions with Congress so far. A few weeks ago, I briefed Senator Bill Cassidy and his staff on what all of you thought should be done about surprise billing. Senator Cassidy is a Republican from Louisiana. He's a physician and together with Democratic Senator Margaret Hassan, uh, really got the bipartisan effort to end surprise billing going in Congress. After I reviewed the levels of support and opposition that each of the five bipartisan bills received from all of you, uh, he said he was deeply impressed by how well our members had sorted through all of the noise. He said that our rank order of bills is exactly the same as his. Then he told me that ending surprise billing had been on his daily prayer list for a long time. Then he said something that really struck me. He said, I think this call may be the beginning of the answer to that prayer. At the end of the briefing, he said he thought our results might really make the difference on this issue and ask if he could work with us to bring the national attention to our work that he thinks it deserves. Of course, I said yes to that. Uh, we're meeting with him now uh, each week and uh, on some exciting plans to do that. And I look forward to, uh, to updating you as those plans develop. Having Common Sense American staff brief Congress on what all of you think uh, should be done about surprise billing is really helpful. It's even more powerful when you contact your own members of Congress with your own views. That's what we're hearing in these briefings. Those who are working hard to end surprise billing are really hoping that you'll take the time to make your members Cong to make sure your members of Congress hear from you. Below, you can see where you can type in your own message with your own views. To make it easier for you, we've provided links where you can review your own answers and you know remind yourself what you said originally. Uh, you can also uh, review the summary of the results from everyone on our results page and there's also a link to the brief if you want to remind yourself of some of those details. When you're done, you can simply choose your email app and then click the button and that will open up your email app. It'll bring that message right into to your app and you can send it directly from there. Uh, so please make the most of the work that you've already put in on this issue. Make sure your members of Congress hear from you. We're making more progress more quickly with Common Sense American than I could have expected. And it's all because of you. Thank you for your help bringing Common Sense to Washington.